so this is about 350 or something acres of more or less cheatgrass. There is some shrubs in there, there's some other stuff in there, but pretty much just cheatgrass. You don't see, I mean, there's a couple little other grasses in there, but I mean, I literally can see two just off looking. So now we go over here and right here, it's looking pretty much like all sage, a little cheat grass, a little tiny bit of grass, a little flower over there. Okay, but as we walk, you're gonna see how it goes from totally bad to totally different. So we got a little bit of yarrow over here, but pretty much just sage. And you can't really see any grass other than cheat grass. And then you go over here and there's a little bit of grass cheat grass and sage it pretty much all looks like one variety of grass down here I mean it's just really nothing no diversity to speak of a little bit next to the roads little flowers over there nothing major a lot of cheat grass a lot of sage Giant ant destruction there. So now it's getting even less grass over here. And not a lot of anything over there. It's a lot of sage. Some flowers, a little bit of yarrow right there. Some flowers in the road. Big ant damage. Almost no grass at this point. At this little bit back there, some little flowers. A lot of dead sage just sitting there. Huge patches with barely any other than cheap grass, a little bit of other grass. People have probably been turning around right here. So that's probably what, what does it. Some flowers. Now we're starting to see some more grass. And more variety of grass. More here as well. It's getting pretty grassy. It's getting real grassy. And all this is coming in relatively new. It looks so good. This grass needs pollen. So if there's other grass around, then the other grass can do good. But if there's no grass around, the grass can't really do good. And you see, I mean, this is just crazy big. Like if that thing catches on fire, it's just a nightmare. I and mean, this is just a waste of brown. There's literally nothing there. Nothing can really get going there. Over there looks a lot better. Nothing's really been done to this. There's been a little racetrack carved through this, but there's a driveway, but that's it. But it's looking so good because it's right next to my place. And even, even this wasn't doing this uh, five years ago. Like, none of that was, like, this was just all dead all year round five years ago. Now it's just cracking 
the stuff that the horses don't eat. So there's horses in there. There's been there for decades. So the ground's just pretty brutalized. Then you come over here, start looking a little better. Right over here, or so I don't remember, you might have. plants in the middle of this was just like what's going on so those actually put off tons of seeds that quail prairie dog and you know who knows what else eats other birds i'm sure so, but the closer we get to my property the more grass there is See, they just cut this road in and look at the nice little wildflower right there. It's pretty nice one. A lot of wildflowers right on the side of this cut. grass most likely there's prairie dogs right there that's kind of a normal prairie dog looking mound covered in cheat grass prairie dogs you see how much grass there is now look how much it's transformed i mean it's just drastic and this is because my property is covered in grass and you know 60 some species of grass and wildflower and those seeds blow around and that pollen blows around and look what it's doing to the neighbors and they haven't done anything right so just doing this is like and look at all this grass out here you see it all the difference between the place right down the street and this place here is huge like there is so much to feed animals on here if the place right down the street followed my guide that's free to download restorethestep.com it's a free ebook download it goes through like everything you need to know about this right here and very soon so just keep checking the website hopefully within this month of june there's actually going to be a, a step restoring focused seed mix that you can buy so you can do this to your property go in lay seeds and have this in like a year and a half instead of the five years it's taken me like subscribe peace Horsies! Horsies! What's up, horsies? Oh. They're like, what are you doing out here talking to yourself? Ooh, that horse seems like he wants horse pets. They like their nose or whatever they think. Horsies! Horses. They're like, we don't want to get next to that mob, uh, electric fence that's falling over. Hi. 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 Hi, horses. Yeah, you want to come over to my property and eat grass, don't you? Oh, yeah. I don't have anything for you. Yeah. Hi, horses. Oh, it's a nice horses. Yeah, you should come over and have some grass. Look at all the grass over there. There's tons. I love grass. Just talk to your boss. Just walk us over there for a couple hours a day. Yeah? Okay. Nice talking to your horses. There you go.
nice on the hand. Yes. And some. Oh, those are good horses. Those are good horses. <laughs> 